here today to discuss stone clip and feature a few of our newer products. Today we're going to show you the 8mm adjustable, the 12mm stone pin, our support clip system, a 28mm set clip, and our premier system, the stone sub. We're going to first start with the sawn faced sandstone, which measures, measures 600 by 300 by 40, giving it a weight of 18 kilograms of panel. The, the 8mm adjustable clips are bearing load from down here for 9 kilograms per clip, where in fact the engineer certified to handle up to 19 kilograms per clip. With the installation of the 8mm adjustable clip, we screw the shaft back through the base plate until we obtain the correct cavity. Once the correct cavity is obtained, we further screw the shaft one more revolution through the back plate before locking in the nut and then grinding off the excess shaft from below. The clip is then installed into the substrate and also into the panel. By doing this, it actually gives you a tolerance which you can wind inwards if you find that the substrate in another place is not plumb. The installation using the 8mm adjustable stone clip is as easy as lining the plate up with the back of the substrate one until you actually find plumb. Once you've found plumb, you can wind the actual shaft back into the base plate and cut off and grind off sorry, the back of the shaft through here. When you install it, you make sure you have the fr first the drive pin hole dead, dead straight. We insert a 1.5 millimeter spacer and now which we should come through and drill straight through into our substrate which is where we'll be putting our drive pin. Through bolt. Our shaft cover, which actually protects our reconstructive material from the panel we're going to place on top from going into our cut, which we made in the stone. We now move on to the second installation of the stone clip. The next panel we wish to feature is a flame finished granite which is measuring 600 by 300 and by 40. It gives the panel weight, the panel a weight of 18 kilograms. We've ins installed this into the concrete substrate utilizing our 12 millimeter stone pin. Each pin is supporting a weight of 9 kilograms but with the 50 millimeter cavity which we have here the pins are certified to load 70 kilograms. We installed this panel one year ago. And any other any other information concerning the installation can be viewed on our website. The, pen, the panel we're about to feature now is a sawn and polished bluestone measuring 600 by 450 and 15. This gives this panel the weight of 12 kilograms. We've installed this utilizing our slimline support clip with the aid of our stone sub fixing onto a 41mm unistrut channel. Each clip here is supporting from the top of the panel 6 kilograms, where in actual fact it is certified to load 25 kilograms each, giving a maximum weight of a panel to be installed with the slimline support of 50 kilograms. After the initial installation of the channel onto the concrete substract, it took 15 minutes for two inexperienced installers to apply these three panels. 
The next panels we're going to feature here today are basically two rock face granite panels which we've installed into the substrate with the aid of our slimline support clip. These slimline support clips have been screwed with countersunk stainless steel screws directly into the substrate, which is our concrete. On top of this now, oh sorry, these, these granite panels here are measuring 600 by 300 by a 20 millimeter bed to a face of 50 millimeters and a weighing 18 kilograms. The next panel we're going to install into the substructure is 600 by 300 with a bed of 30 millimeters to a face of 50. This panel weighs 20 kilograms, which is two kilograms heavier than the panels below it. We're going to install this into the substrate with the aid of our 28 millimeter set clip. which has been pre-drilled and pre-organized and it's going to adhere into the substrate with our drive pins which we can just bang in place again we actually put the clip straight down make sure it's sitting straight Apply it. Our drive pin, and again, bring home. It's that easy utilizing our set clip product. All right. All right. Here, the next system we're going to detail is our stone sub system. The stone sub system involves installing an adjustable clip onto our uni strut vertical channel. This gives the installer greater controls over many different factors. The installer has unlimited vertical rise, with the only restrictions being the manpower and materials at hand. They also have greater control over the cavity, which can move from 50 millimeters to 100 millimeters. The cavity is also only bearing load from the front of the channel to the back of the stone. It also enables us to move up a substrate while maintaining a plumb on our panels, even when the substrate itself is not plumb. With the installation here, you can see that we've actually used our 1.5 millimeter spacer underneath our shaft, and which we've then protected with a shaft cover. We've allowed the five meter spacer here to help with our joint. Now, with the installation of the panels, what I'm about to do now is put a reconstruction glue into the cavity, which we've drilled out to go over the shaft. We're now about to place the panel back onto that millimeter adjustable clip. Should go up. Now all the install has to do is line up the, the cut stone with the clip, put it down plumb. Just install that panel down over the shaft. We've, we've placed in a 1.5 millimeter spaces. We're now going to get the adjustable clip and apply that to create the stone sub system by installing it onto the channel. So we lock in our channel nut, pull our clip down, and bring forward. At this stage now, we can tighten up the nut. Check. Right. Now we can start looking at thinking about installing the next panel. If we found our panels were to be thicker than 35 mils, we could install two different shaft covers to protect our reconstruction material from entering into the cut or onto the shaft which would stop the actual panels from being load bearing. With mechanical fixing, we want each panel to support itself. You can only do that if the panels do not touch each other. Yep. 
So far the installation of the five panels has taken two inexperienced installers less than 15 minutes to achieve. Here's a handmade ter piece of terracotta which measures 400 by 400 by 25 giving it a weight of 8 kilograms per panel. We've installed this into the concrete substrate again with our support clip and you can see here we've pushed our top flaps of the support clip back for ease of installation for the tiler. The reason we found this easy to do is the actual terracotta is a handmade product that has a different, has slight differences in production. Its ease, it's ease is relatively simple. It can be put straight on. We've drilled through the substract and we're actually using a counter struck, counter sunk nylon drive pin straight in the substrate, substrate and just banging home. We just made the top uh, the bottom, cut into the bottom of the sandstone panel here and we're now going to take a little groove out, shoulder it so you can actually, the stone can sit on the shaft cover which will in turn give enough room for, with the shaft to achieve a 5mm join. We can see the cavity that's been created to support the width of the shaft. In the installation process, we will use a reconstructive material here, and then our shaft covers will fit over the shaft, and then the clip will be able to support the weight of the panel. Here we're going to disassemble the 100mm Bosch grinder and take off the cutter and the guard we're using to insert the stone clips and replace it with the guard and cut clip cutter for the slimline support clip which we'll be using in conjunction with our jig here. The direction on the blade must follow the arrow indicated on the Bosch grinder and the cuts into the blade here. We try to maintain a square on our guard. Now with the cutting of our tile so we can insert the slimline support clip we get the jig square with the edge of the tile and we run the grinder on top of the jig here. You can see you have the motion of going directly straight down. Yes. We're now about to make the bottom cut in our tile. We've fat turned the jig around. I have it resting on a tile that's the same height as the tile we're going to install the similar support clip into. I've released the bottom pegs. Now, I make sure that my jig is square with the tile. I push forward, the tile is locked in here with the clamps at the top end and now I'm basically going to slide my tool down the jig Here we have the two tiles that have been cut and installed with the slimline support clip. We've achieved a 5mm join here. Different joins can be achieved by adjusting the guides on the sides of each of the slimline support clip jigs and moving forward up to 10mm.